the best way of displaying the mitral valve is if you use the so-called surgical view. It's called the surgical view because that's how the surgeon actually sees the mitral valve when he cuts open the left atrium. Here he is looking right at the mitral valve from the left atrium towards the anterior leaflet here and the posterior leaflet here. Now there is a certain convention how we should display the valve so that we easily can recognize the different portions. The anterior leaflet should always be on top. So this is A, the anterior leaflet. We then have the medial part of the valve right here, the posterior leaflet here, and the lateral part right here. As a reference point, we have the aortic valve close to the anterior leaflet. That's how we can easily recognize it. We can also recognize it because the mitral valve has a kind of a kidney shape where the posterior leaflet is in this region here and the anterior leaflet right here. In this case, we have a pathology here, but how can we exactly delineate where this pathology is? Well, we use the Carpentier classification. And if we know that this is anterior and this is lateral, then A1 must be here, A2 here, this is A3. This would be the posterior medial commissure, P3, so the posterior leaflet, P2, P1, and then we have the anterolateral lateral commissure right here. So by using this classification, we can determine where the pathology is. This is a prolapse or even a partial flay leaflet, which is located somewhere between P1 and P2. So an easy way of communicating the problem to the surgeons. Oh,